money. We all on some level need it, but some of us crave it. For many, the pursuit of money is a necessary evil. For some, it's a pleasure, but for others, it becomes an all-consuming passion, a snake eating its own tail. Because the passionate pursuit of money isn't a switch you can flip, once you have it, you need to keep getting more of it to maintain the lifestyle you've got. For a professional fighter, this cycle is particularly perilous because earning money means putting themselves at personal risk every time they enter the cage. It can be a dangerous game, and only the most shrewd, and often the most bold, can play it well. Conor Notorious McGregor is a titan of UFC fame and fortune. A two-division champion, the first in the organization to hold a title in two weight classes simultaneously, with the record for fastest knockout in a title fight, the record for highest pay-per-view draws in professional MMA history, and the top of the list of highest paid MMA fighters of all time. McGregor has a professional MMA record of 22 and 5, and is a superstar of the sport and a global celebrity, even crossing disciplines to face boxing legend Floyd Mayweather in 2017. With all of that recognition has come an incredible amount of wealth and an unabashed desire for more and more. With a turbulent life outside of the cage, it's no secret that McGregor enjoys being rich. But where does all that money go? With someone like McGregor, who is infamous for so much of his outlandish behavior, are there any other facets that no one talks about? Like, share, and subscribe to the Ultimate Fighting Network as we find out how Conor, notorious McGregor, spends his millions. Conor McGregor has been with the UFC since 2013, but he's been fighting professionally since 2008. The earnings prior to his time with UFC are unclear, but it's likely they were negligible compared to the paydays he's gained from his time with the organization, where his star truly rose. Like so many fighters, McGregor's first purses were relatively small before anyone knew who he was and what he was capable of. For his first fight with the UFC, a victory against Marcus Brimage, McGregor would have earned only $8,000 for showing and $8,000 for winning, except that the match earned him a $60,000 knockout of the night bonus. The five-figure purses didn't last long. By the following year, his first fight against Dustin Poirier netted him $200,000. For the next few years, he was safely earning six figures, including frequent fight night bonuses. For his 2016 match against Nate Diaz, McGregor's purse jumped up to a whopping $1,090,000, and the rematch a few months later earned him an incredible $3,090,000. It's safe to say that by this point, McGregor was a fully bankable star of the UFC. His largest purse to date was from his 2021 rematch against Dustin Poirier. Despite being defeated in a shocking upset, McGregor still pocketed a cool $5,020,000. McGregor has had 10 fight night bonuses over the course of his 13 fights with the UFC at around $50,000 each. He's also collected pay-per-view money and fight week incentive pay. He's collected sponsorship money from Reebok, Electronic Arts, and Wynn Resorts, and endorses brands like Burger King, Beats by Dre, and his own brand of Irish whiskey. Online estimates place Conor McGregor's overall career earnings, including the $30 million he earned from his boxing match with Floyd Mayweather, somewhere in the neighborhood of $48 million. That places his net worth at a dizzying $120 million. You spend a lot of money. You like to buy cars. How many cars do you have? I mean, I've got to enjoy it, right? It's, <laughs> it's only paper. It's only paper. Uh, I have a good few cars, right? I think I have about maybe eight, eight cars right now. And you keep them all in one place? Yeah, they're all right beside each they're other. They're all right beside the, each other. The, the next one is as clean as the other, so, yeah. I, I do enjoy... You know, I need to stop maybe fascinating. I've been fantasizing about materialistic things, but I can't help myself. I do enjoy the materialistic You like the materialistic things. things. Yeah, I do. Have I you have to be honest with myself, you know. I Mike do Tyson. Many combat athletes are quiet about where their money goes. Conor McGregor wears his on his sleeve, often literally. He's been very public about his love for money and his desire for more, and if you want to know what he spends it on, he'll show you. Conor McGregor owns multiple million-dollar homes in a handful of countries, including his hometown of Dublin, Ireland. He has one in Las Vegas, Nevada, near the headquarters of the UFC, and he also owns a holiday home in Marbella, Spain. Each of these houses boasts sweeping views, multiple bedrooms, games rooms, fully kitted gyms, and swimming pools with spas. The Las Vegas house even has a personal golf course. 
As far as toys go, McGregor has quite the collection. He owns a veritable fleet of luxury cars, so many that keeping an up-to-date count is extremely difficult. Among the expensive collection is a Rolls-Royce Ghost, a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, a McLaren 650S, a BMW i8, and a Lamborghini Aventador that he nicknamed Mutant. His love for engines isn't just restricted to the road, though. McGregor also owns a few luxury yachts. His latest purchase was a limited edition Lamborghini Technomar 63, a boat dubbed the supercar of the sea. Another notable aspect of McGregor is his fashion sense. He's famous for his sharp dressing and his expensive tastes in clothes, shoes, and accessories. He boldly steps out in Versace, Burberry, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Hermes. The more logos, the better. He also has closets full of bespoke David August clothing, a designer with whom he's collaborated on August McGregor, the fighter's own luxury clothing brand. At one time, McGregor stated in interviews that he was in the market for an exotic pet, like a tiger, so he could emulate boxing legend Mike Tyson. This doesn't seem to have come to fruition, but McGregor has had dogs in the past and does appear to love animals. Perhaps surprisingly, one side of McGregor that doesn't get talked about very much is his charity work especially in the last few years. Despite his outlandish behavior in and out of the octagon, including arrests for wild and disorderly behavior, he's found ways to put his money to more compassionate uses. Through his whiskey brand, McGregor was able to raise and donate $1.2 million to help Ireland through the COVID pandemic in 2020, including paying for medical supplies for hospitals. He also paid for eight houses to be opened for homeless families living in Dublin and poured money into local football clubs and gyms struggling under the lockdowns. His recent fight with Dustin Poirier also saw McGregor contribute a substantial sum to Poirier's charity, The Good Fight, and the donation was, according to some sources, the whole basis for the rematch. Even though drama sells, McGregor's quieter contributions to society have been noticed by news sources, but don't seem to get a lot of acclaim. On the one hand, Conor McGregor doesn't seem overly complicated to figure out. He's a skilled fighter who hit the jackpot of fame and just keeps climbing, using that fame as a foothold to make more and more money and keep up the image everyone expects of him. The snake eats its tail, and around we go. But it's not always that simple, and even Conor McGregor has a softer side, a side that few people ever see or acknowledge. And maybe, just maybe, that's the sign of a celebrity learning to see their wealth for what it really is. Not a birthright, but a gift. No matter how much money he makes, McGregor will always stand at a crossroads, asking himself how best to use his riches. Only time will tell which side of him will ultimately emerge and how that'll affect his legacy for years to come. What do you think of Conor McGregor? Comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching The Ultimate Fighting Network.